Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another episode of Keigo Moriyama Photography. And today I want to report with you how is the status of my rescue project for the Polaroid Land Camera 120. Okay, so I went to shoot a couple of uh, black and white film uh, with this camera. After I have finished my uh, color film, I will link here the video that I shoot with the camera and I tried to solve uh, the main problem that I had with this camera that was uh, uh, first of all try to uh, advance the film in a proper way and I've also noticed some uh, light leaks so I want to show you how I solved them so let's move to check properly the camera hey guys so first of all let's talk a little bit about uh, how I solved the uh, light leaks if we turn the camera, the first things that I did was uh, to cover with the tape uh, the two uh, buttons that were inside. The reason why is that uh, we have to try first of all to cover everything that has uh, contact with the light from outside. And these are the two uh, points that uh, probably can affect the uh, light leaking. Another thing that I did, uh, let me open. As you see here, I created this uh, with this piece of uh, uh, paper from uh, um, a package of uh, Neopan, I created a cover. The reason why I created the cover is that uh, uh, when the film is going uh, from this side all the way long to here, there is a place where usually the film is going to roll roll down with this uh, uh, cover that I made uh, I try to uh, recover to cover a little bit more from any kind of uh, leaks that uh, could come uh, inside and uh, I found one problem honestly and uh, when the film is going inside the big issue is that uh, uh, it's not flat anymore and uh, I found that it was uh, uh, folded in some parts uh, but fortunately uh, after I developed and left it to uh, dry uh, I noticed that this uh, effect of folding part uh, were not uh, present anymore so uh, let's say that probably it's just a temporary uh, issue but uh, it helped Definitely. Uh, next step would be to try to design this one uh, with a 3D printer uh, in order to have it uh, a little bit better. But so far uh, the solution uh, works properly, so uh, there is no uh, issue at all. Um, next things that I did, I reprint again one of the uh, this pool here. The reason why is that uh, <coughs> with the previous one, let me. And when I put here, he couldn't roll so smoothly like he's doing this one. And uh, that affected the uh, way that uh, I had to uh, pull the paper in order to make the film advance. So I designed it, I printed it just a little bit uh, shorter than usual and um, it works, it works properly without any issue. So you can see that when I close it, oops, I don't have to uh, pull with lots of strength and that's a good point. Now it's blocked only because uh, uh, this part, uh, as you can see, there is the film and I didn't uh, uh, remove it, the tape here, and let the film uh, roll on the left side. So as you can see, when the film is rolling here, it's moving this way. Uh, unfortunately, as I said, uh, not always uh, came up so nicely. Uh, I have to better understand why, but uh, I hope that uh, 3D printing it uh, uh, will definitely um, solve 
the uh, the problem but again so far just a piece of uh, uh, box uh, and cut it really in a bad way but again it works so that uh, uh, that's the main point uh, as you can see from the photos that I'm going to show you now um, usually the uh, way that I pulled the film uh, came up uh, really well and uh, I was able to leave uh, a really small uh, empty space between each photo except uh, one that is uh, I'm now uh, showing to you and uh, where still I have the two photos that are uh, kind of a double exposure because uh, they are not separated properly uh, but again with the new um, holder the the adapter sorry uh, I noticed also that uh, the big issues that I had before with the big space empty I was able to uh, solve it better um, I think that that's all uh, for me so far and thank you very much for uh, following this uh, uh, rescue rescue project and uh, I, of course I want to keep uh, uh, shooting with a camera uh, in order to better understand how to uh, come up with uh, really perfect pictures. But uh, I'm really happy for the results and I hope you like as well. As usual, till next time, uh, stay click and remember to subscribe to my channel. We are close to uh, a thousand uh, uh, subscribers and I want to inform that I will make a, a giveaway pri um, prize for the 1000 uh, subscribers so please help my channel to grow. Uh, again that's all for me, uh, see you next time, bye!